Something that is done is Danny Masterson's marriage because his wife's filing for divorce. Uh, now, I kind of I kind of saw the writing on the wall with this. I mean, she was supporting him the whole time during the trial. But then once he was actually convicted for 30 years of life, apparently she said she's found divorce. And they're saying it's coming because people might be able to sue her. So if she actually splits from him, she has full custody. That's what she's asking for, full custody of their daughter. And on top of that, they can split their assets and, and be done. Apparently there's no prenup that everybody knows about right now that might come into fruition later on. But as of now, she just wants to break from him, get custody and move on with their life. Cause he's going to be there for a long time. Who even knows when he'll get out. If you know, I mean, it's not going to be 30 years. Yeah, as she should, right, Chris? But I mean, I'd saying like they're, you know, she's see seeking the separation. I mean, it makes sense. She actually filed on on Monday and it kind of leaked out that this is happening. So I, I think that honestly, I, I think that this was this was gonna happen. The writing was on the wall with this one. So I'm not I'm not shocked by this. I don't know about that, dude. She was in court every day supporting him. She was super upset when he got sentenced. She wrote a letter to the judge saying what a terrific father and wonderful husband that he is. Like, I think that this is a move because of um, they're like he's get he has a civil case brought against him like by the victims now so like if they separate their money her money won't get touched only his yeah. money will get touched. He's trying to retain. You know what I mean? Funds. Got it. Mm -hmm. I mean I don't think she's you know it's I don't very think sad she's, you know gonna stay with him or what you know I, I how can you I don't, I don't really know but I think it's more of a strategic move to protect their daughter. Yeah, it is a super sad situation. What's up, Ty? Yeah, it's super sad, and it's like you don't want to hear about any of this all, but then you hear about everything that's gone down. <laughs> everything that's gone down, it's like you know, what do you expect in this situation? You know, oh, she, Rachel says, "I wish him the worst." Honestly, she can't be a good person either. She knows he was shit. I, I'm with I mean, Rachel on this. It's hard not to feel cynical. It's like, oh, it's one thing to be married to a rapist, but being married to a convicted rapist, ugh, that's they got to divorce yourself. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's, yeah, also, like, there's yeah. also a large possibility that she had no idea when they fell in love and got married until this accusation that she came out and all the, you know, all the things happened. Like, it's, that's that's probably the case for her. You know, mm -hmm. so I don't know that she's a terrible person. I mean, I, it's I, I, I agree. It's terrible if kids are involved. And I think that they're trying to do the, the best thing for the kids. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't think she, she I don't think she knew. And, and, you know, until things started moving uh, in court, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think she knew either, right?